so this is one of the stitches that I knit instead of purled. A lot of people messaged me on Instagram after I put this in my stories expressing their condolences and whatever because you know fixing brio stitches is supposed to be scary but it's really not. So all I have to do is drop down to this stitch and then pick it back up. Um, this side um, this white is the contrast color and this is the side where it should be purled. So I'm just going to flip it around and I will just intentionally drop it. Sorry for the noise, we have very creaky floors. And then I'll just go ahead and undo each stitch. Um, you can like, you know, put them on hold, like put them on something to hold them like this as you go down because then the wraps stay and then you're just picking up the stitches as you'll see in a second, but I'm not really worried about it because it's really easy um, to fix them. So I'll go down. This is the one that needs to be fixed. Here it's purled instead of knit. So I just need to pull that out and then pull. So now um, this yarn here needs a wrap, uh, which is this yarn here. I don't know if that's very clear. Let me hold that still. So this yarn was the yarn that was purled on this side and should have been knit like this other white color. So it's wrap, it doesn't have one right now, is this bit of yarn, this black yarn here. So all you have to do to fix it is take a crochet hook. I'm just gonna pick up these stitches. Let me just get that right. So there's two bits of black yarn. This wrap on the bottom, this black yarn on the bottom, is the stitch on my crochet hooks wrap. And this one, just above it, belongs to this bit of yarn here. So all you have to do to get that wrap where it's supposed to be is insert your crochet hook between the two, pull the yarn back between the two, and then you just pick it up like you normally would to fix a stitch in, with your crochet hook. And as long as each stitch has its wrap still, you're just fixing it like you would any other stitch with your crochet hook. Oops, I split this yarn. Let me fix that. So you just pull it through. And like here, this yarn kind of got messed up so it's not with its wraps anymore. And I think that's what really scares people is like what's going on here. But there's nothing scary about it. You just have to look at the stitches around it, kind of examine what's going on with the yarn and then recreate it, right? So like again, there's two black pieces of yarn and that second one, the one on the bottom is the wrap for the stitch on my crochet hook. You just go between them, then get the next row of the white yarn which just kind of made it all the way up there, pull it back through between them and just through your stitch like you would any other stitch when you're fixing a drop stitch and knitting. So again, back between those two wraps, get the next bit of yarn, pull it through your stitch. Then this wrap belongs to this yarn up here. That was my last round. So you're just gonna go between the two wraps, grab the yarn, pull it between the two wraps, through the stitch on your hook, put it back on. And I was working with this main color. So then I can just go ahead, oops, put a wrap on that stitch, knit the next one, and as you see, this um, round right here is the offending round, and I fixed it. I did split this yarn a little bit, so it's a little wonky there, but I fixed all the way over here with the same technique. And as I go around, I'll just fix those two.